In astrodynamics or celestial mechanics, an elliptic orbit or elliptical orbit is a Kepler orbit with an eccentricity of less than 1, this includes the special case of a circular orbit, with eccentricity equal to 0. In a stricter sense, it is a Kepler orbit with the eccentricity greater than 0 and less than 1 thus excluding the circular orbit. In a wider sense, it is a Kepler orbit with negative energy. This includes the radial elliptic orbit, with eccentricity equal to 1. In a gravitational two-body problem with negative energy, both bodies follow similar elliptic orbits with the same orbital period around their common barycenter. Also the relative position of one body with respect to the other follows an elliptic orbit. Examples of elliptic orbits include, Hohmann transfer orbit, Molniya orbit, and Tundra orbit. Velocity Under standard assumptions the orbital speed v of a body traveling along an elliptic orbit can be computed from the vis viva equation as v equals mu 2 r minus 1 a Display style v equals sqrt mu left two over r one over a right, where mu display style mu is the standard gravitational parameter. R display style r is the distance between the orbiting bodies. A display style a is the length of the semi-major axis the velocity equation for a hyperbolic trajectory has either plus 1 a display style 1 over a or it is the same with the convention that in that case a is negative topic <laughs> orbital period Under standard assumptions the orbital period t display style t of a body traveling along an elliptic orbit can be computed as t equals 2 pi a 3 mu display style t equals 2 pi sqrt a caret 3 over mu where mu display style mu is the standard gravitational parameter a display style a is the length of the semi major axis conclusions the orbital period is equal to that for a circular orbit with the orbital radius equal to the semi major axis a display style a for a given semi major axis the orbital period does not depend on the eccentricity see also kepler's third law topic energy under standard assumptions specific orbital energy e display style epsilon of elliptic orbit is negative and the orbital energy conservation equation the vis viva equation for this orbit can take the form v22 minus mu r equals minus mu 2 r equals e0 display style v caret 2 over 2 mu over r equals mu over 2 a equals epsilon where v display style v is the orbital speed of the orbiting body r display style r is the distance of the orbiting body from the central body a display style a is the length of the semi major axis mu display style mu is the standard gravitational parameter conclusions for a given semi major axis the specific orbital energy is independent of the eccentricity using the virial theorem we find the time average of the specific potential energy is equal to minus 2 epsilon the time average of r minus one is a minus one. The time average of the specific kinetic energy is equal to epsilon. Topic: <inaudible> Energy in terms of semi-major axis. It can be helpful to know the energy in terms of the semi-major axis and the involved masses. The total energy of the orbit is given by e equals minus g 
m m 2 a display style e equals g frac m m 2 a where a is the semi major axis topic derivation since gravity is a central force the angular momentum is constant l equals r times f equals r times f r r caret equals 0 Display style dot math BF L equals math BF R times math BF F equals math BF R times F R math BF hat R equals zero. At the closest and furthest approaches, the angular momentum is perpendicular to the distance from the mass orbited, therefore L equals R P equals R M V display style L equals R P equals R M V. The total energy of the orbit is given by E equals one two M V two minus G M M R Display style e equals frac one two m v carrot two g frac m m r. We may substitute for v and obtain e equals one two l two m r two minus g m m R display style e equals frac one two frac l carrot two mr carrot two g frac m m r. This is true for r being the closest furthest distance, so we get two simultaneous equations which we solve for e e equals minus g m m r one plus r 2 display style equals g frac mm r underscore 1 plus r underscore 2 since r 1 equals a plus a e text style r underscore 1 equals a plus a epsilon and r 2 equals a minus a e display style r underscore 2 equals a a epsilon where epsilon is the eccentricity of the orbit we finally have the stated result topic flight path angle The flight path angle is the angle between the orbiting body's velocity vector equals the vector tangent to the instantaneous orbit and the local horizontal. Under standard assumptions of the conservation of angular momentum, the flight path angle phi display style phi satisfies the equation h equals r v cos phi Display style h equals r v cos phi, where h display style h is the specific relative angular momentum of the orbit. V display style v is the orbital speed of the orbiting body. R display style r is the radial distance of the orbiting body from the central body. Phi display style phi is the flight path angle psi display style psi is the angle between the orbital velocity vector and the semi major axis nu 
display style new is the local true anomaly phi equals new plus pi 2 minus psi display style phi equals new plus frac pi 2 psi therefore cos phi equals sin psi minus new equals sin psi cos new minus cos psi sin new equals 1 plus e cos new 1 plus e 2 plus 2 e cos new Display style cos phi equals sin psi new equals sin psi cos new cos psi sin new equals frac one plus e cos new sqrt one plus e carrot two plus two e cos new where e display style e is the eccentricity. The angular momentum is related to the vector cross product of position and velocity, which is proportional to the sine of the angle between these two vectors. Here, phi display style phi is defined as the angle which differs by 90 degrees from this, so the cosine appears in place of the sine. Topic: <laughs> Equation of motion. topic orbital parameters the state of an orbiting body at any given time is defined by the orbiting body's position and velocity with respect to the central body which can be represented by the three dimensional cartesian coordinates position of the orbiting body represented by x y and z and the similar cartesian components of the orbiting body's velocity this set of six variables, together with time, are called the orbital state vectors. Given the masses of the two bodies they determine the full orbit. The two most general cases with these six degrees of freedom are the elliptic and the hyperbolic orbit. Special cases with fewer degrees of freedom are the circular and parabolic orbit. Because at least six variables are absolutely required to completely represent an elliptic orbit with this set of parameters, then six variables are required to represent an orbit with any set of parameters. Another set of six parameters that are commonly used are the orbital elements. <laughs> Solar system In the solar system, planets, asteroids, most comets and some pieces of space debris have approximately elliptical orbits around the Sun. Strictly speaking, both bodies revolve around the same focus of the ellipse, the one closer to the more massive body, but when one body is significantly more massive, such as the Sun in relation to the Earth, the focus may be contained within the larger massing body, and thus the smaller is said to revolve around it. The following chart of the perihelion and aphelion of the planets, dwarf planets and Halley's Comet demonstrates the variation of the eccentricity of their elliptical orbits. For similar distances from the Sun, wider bars denote greater eccentricity. Note the almost zero eccentricity of Earth and Venus compared to the enormous eccentricity of Halley's Comet and Eris. Radial elliptic trajectory A radial trajectory can be a double line segment, which is a degenerate ellipse with semi minor axis. Zero and eccentricity 1. Although the eccentricity is 1, this is not a parabolic orbit. Most properties and formulas of elliptic orbits apply. 
however, the orbit cannot be closed. It is an open orbit corresponding to the part of the degenerate ellipse from the moment the bodies touch each other and move away from each other until they touch each other again. In the case of point masses one full orbit is possible, starting and ending with a singularity. The velocities at the start and end are infinite in opposite directions and the potential energy is equal to minus infinity. The radial elliptic trajectory is the solution of a two-body problem with at some instant zero speed, as in the case of dropping an object neglecting air resistance. See also free fall hash inverse dash square law gravitational field. History The Babylonians were the first to realize that the Sun's motion along the ecliptic was not uniform, though they were unaware of why this was. It is today known that this is due to the Earth moving in an elliptic orbit around the Sun, with the Earth moving faster when it is nearer to the Sun at perihelion and moving slower when it is farther away at aphelion. In the 17th century, Johannes Kepler discovered that the orbits along which the planets travel around the Sun are ellipses with the Sun at one focus, and described this in his first law of planetary motion. Later, Isaac Newton explained this as a corollary of his law of universal gravitation. See also Apsis Characteristic energy Ellipse List of orbits Orbital eccentricity Orbit equation Parabolic trajectory <laughs> <laughs>